Dennis Morton, I owe you an apology. Let me explain why. So as you might know, here on Connect the Watts, I cover connected fitness news. So programs like Peloton, iFit, Tempo, Echelon, and many others, primarily on the weekly Watt show. And to make things fun and entertaining, I like to joke around a little bit, but usually I try to go pretty easy on coaches for connected fitness platforms. I don't like to rip apart coaches like I might do companies or CEOs or celebrities because as a coach of 14 years myself, I have a deep respect for what these coaches do. Still, I do throw a few jokes around at them once in a while, usually about coaches whom I actually like or are so successful that I feel like they can handle it, but I have to admit, I've been a little rough on Dennis these past few months. It all started with the release of the scenic ride that Peloton put out with him in Big Sur. The style of the camera and the way they edited the whole thing just didn't really feel like it mixed well with an outdoor riding experience. A lot of this ride, they kept the camera super zoomed in on Dennis Morton's face, even when he wasn't talking. So he had nothing to do except kind of have an awkward, weird grin the entire time. And then a few months later after that video came this clip. And next up we have Dennis Morton. All right, so Dennis is on a slippery slope. He was one of my favorites when I first joined Peloton. I really, really liked his style and his personality. I thought he was a really good coach and interesting, but he is a little strange and a little bit too much with his dad jokes and just his like head bobbing. He's just like, it's just a little strange. And so after enough classes and seeing these same type of like head bobs and stuff, he's been drifting quite a bit. He is still in tier two because he coaches a lot of power zone classes, which I enjoy, but he is hanging on by a thread and he is one weird joke away from dropping into tier three. And then finally, when I saw this picture of super shiny Dennis on Peloton's apparel Instagram, I couldn't help but put him on blast a little bit. And in the latest episode of the Weekly Watt, even made this passing remark. And nothing, not Omicron, not even the fact that Dennis Morton, this Dennis Morton, was chosen to teach the Eminem cycling class. None of that can bring me down this week. Now, this weekend, I started reading some comments on Facebook about Dennis's Eminem ride, and what I saw was almost universal praise for his class, many calling it one of their favorite classes of all time. So I took it today to see if the praise was well-deserved, and it was. Dennis, you killed it. You really did. You were the best instructor for the job, and you deserve credit for putting together one of the best classes Peloton has ever had. So yes, I owe you an apology. You may tell the worst dad jokes ever, and your head bobbing may take a long time for me to get used to, but at the end of the day, you coach many of Peloton's best classes, especially since Power Zone is hands down, in my opinion, the best part about having a Peloton bike. So no more making fun of Dennis for me, at least for a while. And if you wanna learn more about Peloton's Power Zone training, make sure to check out my complete Power Zone guide here, which includes some tips on taking the FTP test as well. See you next time.